Okay, guys, I am back. I have my brows done and I have my um, eyes primed for my um, makeup. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly what style I want to do today. Um, I think I might want to go with a bold, um, probably a smoky eye of some sort. You know what I'm saying? Some type of smoky eye. But we're going to get right into it, guys. I think I kind of figured out what I wanted to do. So, I'm going to go in with this beautiful 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 blue and i'm gonna put that right in the crease of my eye uh, i'm just gonna see how these um shadows mesh so i'm just gonna tap 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 that into the crease of my eye It's not as bold as it looks. It's not as bold as it look, which I figured. But I'm just going to go ahead and build it up as much as possible. Okay, guys, I am back and I have my eye look completed. Um, I don't really like the wing liner only because I cannot find my regular wing liner gel and I had to use this skimpy wing liner pencil, which this pencil has never been good. So, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of the look. So I'm going to prime my face. I've already moisturized my face. So I'm just going to prime in certain areas um, that I get very oily. So, which is normally the T-zone. Literally, like, I get so oily around those areas. I just want to make sure I rub it in. All right, I am getting ready to go in with my new baby, which is my Juvia's Place. And I actually absolutely love this foundation. This is not an everyday wear foundation because this foundation has straight up crazy full coverage. Like, I'm talking about a little bit goes a very long way. So, I'm going to take some and I'm just going to take like a little, um, just a little brush. And I'm just going to put... This is going to be good enough. I'm just going to take some of this and I'm just going to place it on my skin. I don't know why we need to get some more because this is going to do it right here. Literally, like, literally, this is like full coverage. Like, literally. All right, I'm going to take a damp, my damp sponge. And I'm just going to spray it with um, some of my Morphe spray. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna take this. Do y'all see how full coverage that is? Do y'all see that? I'm telling you, a little bit goes a very long way. Once I highlight and contour and everything like that, it's gonna, everything comes together for me. So I'm, you know, it's not too big of a deal for me. That's the reason why I can't wear as an everyday um, foundation look. Because as you can see how red it is compared to like my neck. Um, but it is fine. We're going to go ahead and get that blend blended in. I'm going to go ahead and get it blended in. All right. Now that I have that blended out, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place. Um, concealer in the color 15. That's what it looks like it says in the color 15. And I'm just going to highlight those areas that I want, which is going to be like under the eye. Or eyes, not eye. <laughs> I got one that went eye. Down the bridge, center of my nose for that snatch nose effect. Um, right here on my chin and just a tad bit on my forehead. 
okay i'm gonna take that same sponge you guys and i'm gonna re-wet it again i feel like products actually um, mesh better when the sponge or the brush is a little damp and i'm just gonna go in and i am going to blend this out Now um, that I have my concealer blended out to my liking, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the end of that sponge because remember I had um, foundation on that sponge. Sorry, my camera keeps shifting. I had um, foundation on the end of that sponge. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to tap the ends of where I actually placed that concealer because I want it to blend out as natural as possible. So... Let's go in and blend this out. And don't worry about the product over here because I'm going to, um, of course, use, um, I'm gonna actually um, contour. So you won't be able to see that anyway. So we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna blend this out. Okay. And now we tap the I go in and set my concealer. Um, and I like to do this quick, fairly quickly because I crease tend to crease very quickly. So I'm just gonna take and place that powder right in those areas that I actually put that concealer. Now we're going to let that stay because I don't bake. Um, I know I look a little ghostly right now, but all of that is going to actually fade. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in and I am going to contour my face. Gonna contour my face. So it'll take a lot of the ghostliness um, it's going to bring life back into the face. So I'm going to go in for my contour. I'm going to go in with the LA Pro Girl Concealer. Um, and this is in the color Chestnut. This might be a little dark, um, but it's fine. It typically works for me. It typically works for me. So I'm going to go in. Just place a little bit there around the top of my forehead. I want to conceal here. Okay, I'm gonna take that same sponge, guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm all about using the sponge, okay? And then we're gonna press this into the skin, that concealer. And you see how I'm starting to add definition back into the face? Now I'm gonna go in and I am going to um, use my concealing powder. All right, so now I'm gonna bring everything together. I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm just gonna blend everything out. I just wanna mesh everything together so it's not like it's separate. So I'm gonna mesh everything together, everything together. All right, so now let's go in and we're just gonna set the whole entire face. Um, we're gonna knock off some of that dusty looking white um, cast that we have. Um, by taking, I'm gonna take another um big brush, and I'm just gonna kind of go into my black opal, and I'm gonna make sure I knock it off really good because this also has red undertone in it, and I don't want to um be red. I just want to set, so I just want to set everything. So I'm gonna just. 
set everything on our face. Okay, now that everything is set, we're gonna go in, we're gonna spray our face with our Morphe. And then we're gonna get to highlight. Okay, so now that I have the glow on, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finish. Okay guys, this is the final look. I'm actually absolutely, absolutely loving, 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 loving the entire look from the hair to the makeup, all of that good stuff. I'm gonna get ready. I don't know if I'm gonna insert a clip of the full out outfit, um, but right now this is the look you guys and I'm loving it. Hopefully you guys love this look because i am feeling it without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i love you guys so very much thank you guys for tuning in always and uh yeah go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not um until next time peace